Hi guys, welcome back to Airgun Weekly. Uh, here we are, my first work weekend, and it is today is Saturday, and it's about I think roughly 50 degrees. It's a little cold, but all week it was hot and sunny. You know, you're sweating all day. Then today, a day I'm not working, it's nice and cool out. Well, that's that's Michigan for you. You know, I kind of forgot all about working hands, you know, I, did, I was getting used to being laid off. But yeah, here, as you see, I got a good little gouge out there. No idea what it's from. I got a blood blister over there, you know, just one weekend, but ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. But uh, right here, as you see, I got our first target, or our target for the day. It's uh, four things the safety glasses I had to break off the you know where it hooks to your ear because it just wasn't gonna work I tried to nail it down then I bent the nails in kind of pinch it zip tied them all together just to see um, this side is gonna be for uh, our pellet I'm gonna just use a regular penetrator because you know once you shoot it it's you, you, I don't think you're gonna get another shot in there to be totally accurate you know because you're gonna have chips it's gonna be weakened and I just want to get one good shot in there and call it good and then on this side I'm gonna try a BB of a sort either my just regular pump BB gun or my CO2 pistol and just see what that does you know I think CO2 pistol would you know it's more powerful but then again you know, I'd like to do something where if you're out in the yard, you're playing around with BB guns, you know, airsoft guns. And maybe you thought your pump, you know, that shoots steel BBs, your pump BB gun would be all right. I just wanted to see maybe if, maybe I'll shoot it with that. And just to see if it would go through a pair of safety glasses. Because if it hits your, you know, if you just pump it once, they're not too powerful. It's going to sting. But I mean, over a distance, I don't think it'd go into your skin. I'm not promoting you guys to shoot each other either. I'm just saying. When I was young, I used to, you know, have all sorts of BB gun fights and stuff like that. But uh, my wife's dad donated those safety glasses for this purpose. I told him about the channel and my idea. And he's like, well, I have a few in the shed here that he don't use. He used to work at a company that just, you know, you lose a pair, they give them to you and for safety. He don't work there no more, so he donated them to me to the channel, and um, I'd like to say thank you very much. He don't watch uh, YouTube, but I'm still saying thank you. And right here, he also gave me this little ammo box. I thought that was pretty nifty. I mean, it's not like I have a whole lot to put in it, but you know, I got uh, our BBs in here, my pistol in here all my pellets so that's pretty nice you know not having to carry all this stuff separately just throw it in there it latches oops and you can lock her up and everything right here and yep so I either got that co2 in there or i got this one right here that i might shoot then i got my pellet gun out uh, i'm gonna set you guys down here real quick and we'll get going Alrighty guys, here we are. Uh, I got a penetrator in here. And we're going to try to shoot the right side. Uh, I might not hit it. Like I said, I did not buy a new scope yet. So I'm still guessing. You know, about four inches high. One or two inches to the left. So I'm going to give her a shot. Aim a little low. And see what happens. Ugh. I'm going to adjust my bipod here first. She's all out of whack. <laughs> all right. Right there is good. Now, if I can get her twisted on. Oh, all right. All right, see what happens. Wish me luck. All right. This 
think I got her right there. Alrighty. Firing. Hey, I think I heard it. Don't know where I hit it. But I heard it. Well, I was right. I did hit it. But I hit it clear over here on the edge. So it kind of just ricocheted off. Put a pretty good dent in it. But I want to I wanna hit her up in here. So, all right, we're going to move back. And we'll load up another pan trader and see what happens. All right, here we are. And I just want to say that shooting it from a range was her dad's idea. I was just going to kind of not butt him up, but, you know, get him a little bit apart. And then uh, get some distance from me to the gun, put a string on it, pull it. Just so I know I where I'm going to hit it and not have to guess. But I went with his idea because it is it would be better to shoot him from a distance. You know, a little bit more fun, but not with this gun. <laughs> or not, not with this scope, I should say. It's not the gun's fault. Alrighty, take, take two. Alright, oh yeah, we wanna... Alrighty. Alrighty, firing. Alright, that one, that one hit. It looks a little better from here. But I'm not too sure. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, it didn't, it did hit, but not in an ideal location. Again, I hit a little, a little low into the side. I think it was on a little bit of a funny angle, but we're going to give her one, one more try. I really want to hit up here. Then if it don't go through, it don't go through. And I would probably say you're pretty lucky that you don't get hit with this pellet and if this pellet don't go through I don't think that either either baby guns gonna go through but I guess we'll see I'm gonna set you guys down load up another shot and we'll go from there <sighs> alrighty take three and we'll see what happens here Ooh. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, perfect. All right, right here. All righty. Firing. Oh, I knocked them right off there. That's where they're supposed to be. That's where they are. I guess that's a good sign. Ah. Uh, and right. Yeah, I'll show you. Right there is where we hit. I mean, dead on. Did not go through. Bolts did just a, just a hair, but didn't go through. That's real surprising. So I'm gonna try maybe a wad cutter. See what that does. So I figured we just, you know, at least go through one clean and then have problems with the second, but. All right, I'm going to get this all fixed up and see you guys in a bit. Alrighty. This will be our fourth shot, but our first wad cutter. And we'll see what that does. It has more kind of X. X like a slug, I guess, if a pellet, pellet gun slug in a way. But yeah, we'll see what happens here. Oh. Alrighty. Firing. Oh man. <laughs> that was a blue apart. So alright, let's go see. Alright, as we're walking up you can just kinda I mean there's a pair, there's a pair, there's the other two. Alright, I just gotta this was our first yeah, I think we hit 
right there. I mean, smaller, smaller bulge on the bag. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. I don't know. But, all in all, I guess if I didn't rip off the, the ear pieces on the other ones, they'd still be wearable, but let's try out the BB gun just, just to confirm that a BB gun won't go through this. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alrighty guys, here we are with our CO2 pistol. I decided that if a pellet gun ain't going to go through, I ain't going to try the, the pump because that's even weaker yet. So I'm going to try this, see what happens, and I'll show you guys here in a minute. Put on my safety glasses this time. I realized I wasn't wearing them earlier. But uh, here we go. Alrighty guys, here's the glasses. Ugh. As you I mean you see there's just little pings and there ain't nothing. Nothing even worth like there's barely anything on the other side. I mean I wouldn't recommend shooting somebody with a CO2 pistol. Hey guys, I just got my son to sleep. It's about one in the morning. I was going through uh, some footage through today and I realized that the end got cut off but I was just gonna thank you guys for uh, joining me today and supporting the channel and I do realize with the phone like right now it's in uh, like a selfie that the audio is not as good if I had it flipped around or they the audio is different if I have you on the outside and everything I realize that and here soon, since I am back to work, I'll be able to get a different camera other than my phone. I might still use my phone for certain things, but I'm looking at one that will be good. Get a tripod for it, you know. Then I'll be able to set you guys up in better angles. Maybe I'll see if I can get a camera that has maybe some good, uh, like a slow-mo to it. So you guys can see what happens in a slower way because sometimes that's cool you know i like watching things in slow-mo but that's just me but and i realized that in my first scene where i was shooting my first pellet there was a stick on my face and i am sorry for that i do apologize but i had to leave it in since it was my first shot and I didn't realize it till I got home and it's like one in the morning and I can't go back out and redo it but um, I still uh, I'd like to just thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you next time and thinking I think I hear a mouse I got mice traps set up out here. I got some in my house. Haven't caught nothing yet, but we're working on it. They scrounge around out here on the porch. I got like four traps out here alone, so hopefully we get something. But anyways, thanks for joining in. I'll see you guys next time.